How's everybody doing? God bless. Uh, hope everybody's doing well. I've got a video about uh, the cables, and uh, as I said, I am watching daily at the gates. Had a lot of people bashing people that are watching and setting high watch dates. I don't. I don't watch these people. They're 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 uh, they're going to be set with the hypocrites and non-believers. If you are not watching. I want to be blessed for watching. That's what we are doing. We are watching. And anybody that tells me not to watch, mind your own business. Mind your own business. Uh, I have said before, I'm a nobody, but I'm watching for my Lord's return. I'm not a prophet. I'm not a, I'm not, oh, I'm a nobody. I just watching for my Lord. That's what we are supposed to do. Hope everybody's doing well. Praise and worship tomorrow morning. God bless. The Bible, let's get it, everything clear. Blessed is the man that hears me watching daily at my gates and at my doors. This is us. We are watching daily. I have people send me emails every day about dates they are watching. That's what we are watching. We're watching for our blessed hope. Proverbs chapter 8. Blessed is a man that hears me watching daily at my gates and at my doors. It's Proverbs chapter 8. Whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor of the Lord. Favor of the Lord. Does Jesus talk about this? Yes, he does. Jesus out of his own mouth. Right here. Blessed are those servants who when the Lord come shall find him watching. Verily, 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 I say unto you, I will gird, gird himself and make them sit down and eat meat and serve, find, and serve them. This is the wedding supper. These are the people that go to the wedding supper. In Luke 12, he even talks about it. Rather seek the kingdom of God and all things shall be added unto you. Seeking the kingdom of God is wanting to be in the kingdom of God and watching for the Lord to return because we don't like it here. We want to be with the Lord. Be forever. Jesus also says, as I have said before, Jesus said, Won't he avenge his only elect that uh, cry out to him day and night? That's what we are doing. Crying out for our blessed hope for to, to leave. Down here it says, Luke 12, But if that servant say in his heart, he delayeth his coming, he shall begin to beat his manservants and maidens and sit down and drink, he will put their portion with the hypocrites and non-believers. The Lord of that servant come at a day he not look for him, and an hour he is unaware, and cut him asunder, and appoint his portion with the unbelievers. So don't listen to anybody that tells you you shouldn't be watching and waiting for the Lord return. Go back to sleep. It says right here, But if his servant say in his heart, My Lord delayeth his coming, this is what people are telling you to do. They are put, making you run in a ditch. The narrow, We are on the narrow path. These people are on the wide path. That lead to destruction, as the Bible talks about. So, I'm going to be looking at dates, as far as high watch dates. Most people know on my videos I've talked about Damascus. I've been watching Damascus. If that day don't, is, if the day, the day that we are watching, if Damascus isn't, in, isn't coming into a ruinous heap or something happened at Damascus, I've said that before. I might say, hey, a high watch for, for this weekend, which some people are saying. But if Damascus doesn't fall, I would say that probably isn't so much of a high watch. So, I've, I've nailed that on the head. Anybody that doesn't want to watch or tells you don't watch, go back to sleep. Right here, they are telling you that the, that the Lord delayeth his coming. Right here. But if that servant say in his heart, the Lord delayeth his coming, it also says down here the next verse, the Lord of that servant come at a day he not look for him, 
and an hour he is unaware, he will cut him asunder and put his portion with the unbelievers. This is exactly what Jesus said. Don't let anybody get you into this trap. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Don't let anybody let you to, oh, go to sleep. Go to sleep. Jesus talks about this in Luke 14, as I have talked about before. Oh, you would rather, you'd rather go, you, you have a barn to build. Oh, you'd rather build your barn than be with the Lord. That's exactly what he was saying in Luke, Luke 14, as I have talked about before. So, keep watching. Love you all. Now, I got something I want to say. I had this happen. I've talked about this before to my friends. And as you can see right here, um, I felt like there was angels in a presence in my house. Um, I have seen a flash of light on the corner, out of the corner of my eye really fast. This is in the Bible. The Lord said he will put angels in charge over thee to protect thee in all these ways, in your ways. This is my camera. Sorry about the bad picture, but this is, I took it off my phone. I have an app on my phone where I uh, have cameras in my home and it picks up on stuff. If I'm out of my home, I can monitor my home in uh I'll play it right now. As you can see, the circle right here, it went off for, my, my camera goes off for motion or light. As you can see, it almost looks like a halo. It could be an orb. I don't know what it is. Um, I've also felt wind, like, in my chair or, or just like a, a breeze of wind go by me before, but... I played it right there. This is on my phone. I've had all kinds of stuff. It's not a bug. I've seen bugs before. I've stopped it. It's like a halo, it's orb, you could call it. Very interesting. I, I don't know what it is. Sorry about my messy house. I'm stopping it with my finger on my phone. Very weird. It, it detected off my uh, phone. This is my back, back room. I have my uh, pressure washer out before. It's inside, so it doesn't freeze. I bring it in the winter. Very weird. It's not a bug. Right there, I stopped it. Very weird. Never seen nothing like that before. Don't know what it is, but it's not like I've had my cameras very long. But, uh, anyway, there's the date, the time. Now, uh, I want to thank my two watchmen. That's what we are. We're called to watch. Michael and John Misick sent me this. Pertains to the same thing, underground cables. Right here, they're going to cut. says uh, government planning for total cellular out outage. They will probably blame the Russians. And as I say, when this happens, of course, we're leaving. This is watching. We know that they're going to, when we leave, they're going to try to try to cut communications. As it shows, many movies, um, many movies have this in it. Uh, this was from Michael. It says right here, um, The only way to cause a great banking reset is, is the truce of Epstein, Hunter Biden, to declare a state of emergency, it is the interruption of the internet so that when the mainstream press speaks autonomously of subs, Russian sailors near cables, we all understand. So yeah, they're, they're saying they're getting close to the cables. They're going to blame it on the Russians when they cut the internet and everything. They have to have an excuse. This is also in Hal Turner right here. So, like I said... 
This is the information we will be praising worship tomorrow. As I have said before, I'm not a prophet. There's some people out there on the internet. I could name them. They say they're prophets, prophets, prophetesses. Um, I I set high watch dates, and anybody tells you to stop watching, run from them, run from them. Right here, Jesus himself said, But if a man's servant, if that servant says in his heart, the Lord delayeth his coming, he, and it says right down here, he says it again, he, he says it He says it this way, and then he says it again, The Lord of that servant come in a day when he not look for him, in an hour he is unaware, he will cut him asunder and put his portion with the unbelievers. Believers with unbelievers, right there. He said it two different ways. He said, "If you're if you're going out drinking and partying and whatever, but then again, he, he says it again. He, he he makes it more clear. He said, "A Lord of that servant come in a day he not look for him, and an hour he an unaware hour." He says, "Not just days." He says, "Hour he is unaware. He will cut him asunder and point his portion with the unbelievers, believers with unbelievers." And as I have said before in Proverbs chapter eight. I want to obtain favor of the Lord. Whoever finds me finds life and obtains favor of the Lord. This is what he was talking about in Proverbs, about blessed is a man that hears me, watching daily at my gates and at my doors. Just like it says Jesus said himself, blessed is that servant when the Lord come, he will find him watching. Verily I say unto you, this is obtaining favor of the Lord. Right here. And it says down here, we are supposed to seek the kingdom of God. So, God bless everybody. Keep watching. Don't be discouraged. Don't let these distractions of other people affect you. They should be shutting their mouth. Because if you are telling people not to watch, not to watch daily at my gates and at my doors... You will be under judgment for for the un the wise and you're either wise or you're unwise. God bless.